Foundation. This is uh, our Connolly Future Connolly uh, Yoga and Meditation Room. It's a work in progress, uh, but we have no wallpaper and we have paint on the walls, which is a really big deal. Um, so welcome. Um, thank you for meeting me on your mat. Um, so today I'm going to get, again encourage you to pull up my playlist on Spotify. The account name is Mary E. Connolly and the title of the playlist this week is Keep On, Keep It On because that's what we're doing. We've been at this quarantine thing for a month now and we're keep it on, keep it on. Um, so part of the what I'm going to encourage you to do throughout your practice this evening today uh, is to try to um, let go of resistance and try to move toward acceptance wherever you are, whatever that looks like or whatever that means for you. And so we're going to go ahead and get started right away. Uh, we're going to start in a half frog pose. So you're going to lay all the way out on your belly. And you're going to bring your right knee up alongside of you. So your knee is in line with your hip and your ankle is in line with your knee. And your foot is flexed with your toes lifted. And just before you start to come down to relax into that half frog, I'm going to ask you to hit play on that playlist. And then come on down, rest one cheek, whatever is comfortable for you. Close your eyes. And just give yourself a minute to ground here, to come onto your mat, to try to check out the best you can in whatever space you're in. Try to go inward and whatever may be going on around you, try to notice it as external to you. If your hip is open, you may want to bring your knee up higher. That may feel good for you. Gently start to deepen your breath. Deepening your inhale. And your exhales. Here, you're going to start to walk your elbows underneath your shoulders, staying in that half frog, and taking a sphinx pose here. So squeezing your shoulder blades together on your back, creating some traction with your forearms, and shining your heart forward. 
Your gaze is still at the bottom of your mat, not wanting to create any extension in your neck. Just gentle. Breathe into it and breathe out. Another breath in and come on down. Bring that right leg back behind you and move into the right, left side. Settling down into it. Settling into your breath. Seeing where you can let go of resistance and move toward acceptance. Again here, start to walk your elbows underneath your shoulders, finding that sphinx pose, still in your half frog. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, creating that traction in your arms, lifting your heart, gaze is still at the top of the mat. Breath in, fill up, breath out, let go. Breath in, breath out, come on down. Work that left leg back behind you. And from here, you're going to start to make your way onto all fours. Shoulders stacked over your wrists, hips over your knees. Breath in, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Breath out, round your spine, head hangs heavy. Breath in, belly drops, gaze lifts, cow pose. Breath out, cat, round your spine, head hangs heavy, empty out. Again, breath in, lift your gaze. Breath out, round your spine. Take a breath here, move around in whatever way feels good, maybe side to side. And on your breath out, find your down dog, flipping over your toes, hips lift, fingers spread wide. Pushing through your hands, through your arms, engaged. Elbows are not locked out. Sinking into your heels. Your quads are engaged. Sits bones reaching for the sky. Head hangs heavy, but your core is pulled up and in. Breath in, lift your heels. Breath out, sink your heels. Ha! Breath in, fill up. Breath out, sink your heels. Ha. One more time, lift your heels and sink. On the inhale, reach your right leg towards the sky. And on your exhale, gently step your right hand to your right thumb, drop your left knee to the mat. Inhale, work your way up. Maybe your hands come to your thigh, eventually reaching up, crane pose. Opening up that left hip, breathe into it. Shoulders out of your ears, gaze is lifted. Breath in, fill up. Breath out, maybe sink a little deeper. Another 
breath in, and on your breath out, we're going to bring your hands down, straighten that front leg, and fold over it for half splits. Hip the stack over the left knee. Breathe into that left hand, right hamstring. Breathe out, maybe you sink a little deeper. Breathe in, fill up. Breathe out, maybe you sink. Start to come back forward, bending into that right knee. Roll over the toes on your left foot and step back, down dog. Reset. Breath in, breath out, ha. Inhale, reach your left leg high. And exhale, gently step it to your left thumb. Right knee drops. Work your way up. Stretching into that right hip this time. When you're ready, reaching your arms towards the sky. Breathe in, create space in that right hip. Breathe out, maybe you sink a little deeper. Shoulders out of your ears. And breathe out, bring your hands down. Left foot steps back to meet the right, down dog. Breath in here. Breath, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and gently walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to your halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, stand and reach up, moving into our sunnies here. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes. Press your thumb knuckles into your heart space. Strong and grounded. Inhale, reach up, look up. Maybe find a little back bend. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale to your halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Strong in your high plank. Legs are engaged, pressing through your heels, inner thighs engaged, core is pulled up and in. Slight bend in the elbows. And drop to your forearms here, forearm plank. And breathe. Always drop your knees if you need to drop your knees. But keep your core turned on. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Press back up to high plank. Exhale, tip forward and lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Heart shines forward. Breath out, down dog. Breath in, fill up. Breath out, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and step or hop lightly to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. And forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center, close your eyes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold over. Halfway lift. Hands plant, step back, high plank. Tip forward, lower half or all the way down. Inhale to your up dog or cobra, pressing into the tops of your feet. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Stay here. Look over your right shoulder, center, and your left shoulder. Center, exhale, down dog. Breath in and breath out. Lift your 
your heels, bend your knees, step or lightly hop. Halfway lift on the in, fold over on the outs. Inhale, stand and reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Maybe find that back bend. Exhale, fold over. Halfway lift. Hands plant. Chaturanga Dandasana up high to low plank. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Let's take one more sun A. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or lightly hop. Inhale to that halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale, fold. Halfway lift. And chaturanga on the exhale. High to low. Inhale to up. Exhale to down. Breath in. Breath, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop. Inhale to your halfway lift and fold over. On the inhale, sink your hips, chair pose. Slight tuck of your pelvis, weight in your heels, squeeze your inner thighs. Shoulders out of your ears. Stay in your breath. Start to shift your weight into your left leg. Lift your right heel, your right foot. Hover it. Breath in. Breath out. On the breath in, reach your right leg high. Standing splits. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold into that leg. Right heel reaches a little higher. Light up your toes. Breath in, reach a little higher. Breath out, crouching tiger. Knee comes behind your left calf. Hands come to prayer if you can. Otherwise, keep them on the floor. Keep your core turned on. Flex your toes on your right foot. And breathe. From here, you're going to lift up, take off, airplane, floating that right leg back behind you. Shoulder blades squeeze together on your back, up dog in your chest, finding that extension in your back, lifting that right leg a little higher, press through your right heel, and then you're going to drop your left hand down to the mat. Right limbs stacking up for half moon. Great place for a block under that right hand to prevent collapsing in your left side. Maybe you float your fingers, but your core has to be turned on. Lifting and then stepping back. Warrior two, trying to land lightly. Front heel bisecting the back of the right foot. Find that strong warrior. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. Right hand comes behind your back. Left arm reaches overhead. Breathe into that left side body. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Square up your hips, come onto the ball of the right foot. Inhale, reach your left 
arm high. Side angle, revolve side angle or dragonfly twist. You'll hear it called. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Squeeze your inner thighs. From here, you're going to start to roll onto the knife edge of the right foot. And step your left foot back to meet it for side plank. Side plank variation. You can lift that left leg. You can drop your right knee for supported side plank. You can stagger your feet. Yogi's choice. Take what you need. Maybe try to lift your gaze towards that left hand. Another breath. And exhale, step that left foot back to the front of the mat. Coming to your low lunge. Inhale, lift up, crescent lunge. On your exhale, open arm twist to your left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Trying to keep the shoulders stacked over your hips so you're not jutting forward. Inhale, reverse your twist. Right arm comes overhead. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step back, high plank. Stay in your high plank. Exhale to forearm plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearms. Inhale, high. Exhale, forearms. One more time, high plank to forearms. Back to high plank. Tip forward, chaturanga, or straight to down dog, anytime you need it. Take a breath in here, and a breath out. Ha! One more breath in, and breath out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop. Halfway lift. Fold over. Inhale to chair pose. Sink your hips. Plug in. Start to shift to the right foot. Hover the left foot. Stay. And fold over, standing splits, left foot reaches high. Breathe into that right hamstring. Fold a little deeper. Take it where you want to here. If you want to try to float your hands. Try to reach that left leg higher. And on the exhale, Crouching tiger, knee comes behind the right calf. Toes are flexed on that left foot. Inhale, lift up, airplane. Right hand comes down, stack up the shoulders and the hips. Half moon. And gently set it down, back of the mat, coming to warrior two. Hips and shoulders open towards the left side of the mat. Shoulders out of your ears. 
reaching through your fingertips. Strong gaze out of that front middle finger. Inhale, reverse your warrior, stay in that front knee. Breathe into that right side body. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, square up your hips. Inhale, your right arm reaches high. Dragonfly twist, or revolve side angle. Start to roll onto the knife edge of the left foot, right foot steps back, side plank, side plank variation of your choice. Lift the hips a little higher and step the right foot back to the front of the mat, coming to your low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms high. Crescent lunge. Hips are square, facing forward on the ball of that back foot. Sink into the lunge. Fire up that back leg. Breath in, find length in the spine. Breath out, open arm twist to the right. Keep that left leg strong. Twist through your upper spine, not your lumbar. Inhale, reverse your twist. Left arm reaches overhead. And cartwheel down. Step back, high plank. Breath in here. Breath out, forearms. Inhale to high. Exhale, forearms. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. One more time, high to forearms. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or straight to down dog. Breath in. Breath, let it go. Breath in, fill up. Breath out, let it go. One more breath, fill, fill, fill. Breath out, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and step or lightly hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to your halfway lift, and fold over your legs. Step your feet hips width apart, and take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Plug your shoulders into the joint. Breath in, halfway lift, deeply bend your knees. Breath out, keep your shoulders plugged in as you fold over, pulling into those hamstrings. Head hangs heavy. Shoulders are out of your ears so your neck is free to just hang. Try to let go of some of that weight that we're all carrying around. Let it go and use your breath to help you. Go ahead and release your fingers, release the bind and start to toe heel your feet back together. Inhale to a halfway lift, fold over. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, fold over. Halfway lift, hands plant, chaturanga, dandasana, high to low, up to down. And now we move. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop. Inhale to your halfway lift, fold into your legs. 
Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips. Exhale, shift your weight to the left, lift your right foot. Inhale, reach your right leg high, standing splits. Exhale, crouching tiger, right knee to the left calf. Inhale, lift up, take off, airplane. Exhale, your left hand comes down. Stack up your shoulders and your hips for half moon. Stay for the breath in. And exhale to half, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Inhale, your left arm reaches high, dragonfly twist. Start to roll onto the knife edge of your right foot, left foot steps back, side plank. Stay for that breath in. Exhale, left foot steps back to the front of the mat, low lunge. Inhale, your arms reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist to your left. Inhale, reverse your twist, right arm reaches overhead. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low, up to down. Skipping the high plank to forearm plank. Aren't you happy? <laughs> Breath in, into your down dog. Breath out, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of the mat. Halfway lift and forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips. Exhale, shift your weight to the right as your left foot lifts up. Inhale, left leg reaches up, standing splits as you fold over. Exhale, crouching tiger, knee comes behind the right calf. Inhale, lift up, airplane. Exhale, your right hand comes down as you stack it up. Half moon. Stay for the breath in. Breath out, left foot comes down, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Start to, oh, left arm reaches high. Edge of the left foot, sorry, I'm backwards. Right foot comes back to meet it, side plank on your left side. Inhale, right leg comes forward, low lunge. Inhale, come up, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, reverse that twist. Left arm reaches overhead. Exhale, cartwheel down. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low, up to down. All right, we're going to meet on your back. So go ahead and drop to your knees, find your way onto your back, and you're going to take your hands to a diamond shape underneath your sacrum, the low part of your low back. Reach your legs high. Breath in, lower them halfway. Breath out. Lower them all the way down. This time, tap your heels for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs lift up. Breath in and breath out. Breath in. Lower them halfway. Shoulder blades lift. And breath out, lower, and this time let's crisscross, scissor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift them back up. 
Breath in and out. Breath in, fill up. Lower halfway, lift your shoulder blades. Breath in, lower, hover. And this time, swim your legs up and down. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift them back up. Knees come into your chest. Plant your feet on the mat. Bridge pose. Lift up. Press into your heels. Shoulder blades walk together beneath you. Lifting your heart. Use that leverage of your hands to press into the mat. Lift your heart higher. Inner thighs are engaged. Fill up. Stay in your breath. And slowly lower down, vertebra by vertebra. And hands back to the diamond on your low back. Legs lift up. Breath in, breath out, lower halfway, lift your shoulder blades. And breath out, hover, click your heels for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Lift them back up. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Fill up. Lower halfway. Lift your shoulder blades. Breath in and out. Cover. Swim. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift up. Breath in and breath out. And breath in to prepare. Lower halfway and lower hover and crisscross for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift up. Knees come into your chest. Plant your feet on the mat and press up bridge pose or wheel if you're ready for it. If you want to take wheel pose, make sure that your hands are wide on the mat, creating space for your shoulders to open up. And as you press up, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back, creating that opening in your chest for your head to come forward, heart reaching back, pressing into your heels, breathing into it, staying in that breath, press, 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 and slowly lower, vertebra by vertebra, and windshield wipe your legs side to side. Knees come into your chest and start to rock and roll up and down your spine. And for a hip opener, Yogi's Choice, you can take a half pigeon. If you want to feel opening in the outside of your hip, or if you want to go back to half frog where we started with one leg out to the side, laying on your belly, or a full frog, which would be both of your legs open, ankles in line with the knees, hips in line with the knees, and then lowering down to your degree. It's a great place for a block here, maybe under your head, Wherever you are, it's 
Send your breath into the tight spaces. Create space. Create space where you can let go of resistance and move toward acceptance. Moving forward, our future is going to look different in some inevitable ways. And so, the more able we are to let go of expectations and just move toward acceptance, the better off we'll be in terms of our mental health, at least in some ways. If you are in a one-sided hip opener, go ahead and start to make your way out of that side and then to the opposite side. Taking your time to set it up right and settle in. As we close our class tonight, I'm going to finish with the Ganesh chant. Um, it kind of goes along with that theme of trying to let go of resistance and move toward acceptance. Ganesh is said to be the remover of obstacles. And it is a chant that my teacher, Yolanda Rosenthal Green, always closes her classes with. start to make your way out of that other side if you're in a one-sided hip opener if you're in your full frog pose go ahead and slowly start to gently make your way out of that in whatever way works for you be gentle and we will meet seated with your soles of your feet together, sitting up tall on your sits bones. Again, bringing your peace fingers to your big toes, inhaling, creating space in your spine, sitting up nice and tall, and exhale, folding over your legs to your degree, folding from your hips first, not your low back, and then allowing yourself to melt over to your degree. Inhale, lift up a little bit, back up a little bit, exhale, maybe you sink a little deeper. You can use your forearms to press into your legs a little bit, create a little bit of self-assist there. Start to come up, extend your left.
left leg long. The sole of your right foot to your inner left thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Again, reach up and then fold over that left leg to your degree. Keep your foot flexed. Flex your quad. And fold in a little deeper. Come on up and switch legs. Sole of your left foot to the inner right thigh. Sitting up tall on those sit bones. Reaching up and folding in. to side. And let's cross your right leg over the left like eagle legs. Shift your hips to the right a little bit and legs fall to the left. If that's too intense of a bind, you can release the bind. Gaze is out over your right arm for your supine twist. Stay with your breath. Inhale, space. Exhale, release. Come through center. Switch the bind, left leg over, shift your weight, shift your hips to the left a little bit, knees drop to the right, gaze out over your left arm. Come on through center, release the bind of your legs, hug your knees into your chest, find your happy baby, grabbing for the in or the outsides of your feet. Some people like to grab the big toes. Pulling your knees towards your armpits. Spine is still long and straight, maybe finding that gentle sway side to side. And release your knees into your chest. Hug everything in tight. Giving yourself the hug that you would give to someone that you can't, or that someone can't would give to you right now. And when you're ready, releasing your ankles to the corners of your mat, setting up for your Shavasana. Once you get there, Get all of your last wiggles and adjustments out. Take one last deep breath in, fill up all the way. And as you exhale, allow yourself to melt into the mat. Feeling completely supported, body, spirit, and soul. Find rest.
to deepen your breath, bringing some life back into your fingers and your toes, your ankles and your wrists. Inhaling, reaching your arms overhead, stretching like you're waking up first thing in the morning. Exhaling and bringing your knees into your chest and rolling to your right or your left side. Resting your head on your bicep in a fetal position. Staying here for a moment. Feeling gravity in your body. And seeing anything that is still weighing you down. Gently draining away from you. And when you are ready, using your hands to press yourself up to a comfortable seat at the top of your mat. Meeting with our hands at heart center, eyes closed. Thumb knuckles pressing into your heart space. Even though I still cannot see you physically, the light in me still sees, honors, and respects the light within each and every one of you. When you are in your place and I am in mine, we are one. Raising your thumb knuckles to your third eye, forehead center, we bow as friends and say namaste. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Thank you all for taking the time to meet me on your mat this evening. Thank you again to Elements for putting all this content out there for folks for free during this time when we certainly need to stay as healthy as we can. Until I see you again, Please be safe, be smart, be healthy, and keep on keeping on.